Hey, what's up? Let's see what's in the news. What would you call feta if you couldn't call it feta anymore? Weird question, I know, but it's actually something Australia's government's been asked to think about. It's working on a new trade deal with the European Union, but there's a big list of conditions when it comes to the names of some food products. So, here's the deal with this deal. It's about making it easier for Australia to sell products to Europe, so businesses can have millions of new European customers. But in return for that, Europe has a list of product names they no longer want us to use. It includes 172 foods, lots of cheeses, and 236 spirits, those drinks older people drink sometimes. All of them originally come from Europe, like feta. Because it's a Greek cheese, Greek farmers reckon only Greek-produced feta should be called feta, and Australian feta should be called something else. Same goes for Parmigiano Reggiano, Edam Holland, and Prosciutto di Parma. Though the short names like Parmesan and Prosciutto will still be fine. Some Aussie farmers and businesses say this just can't breathe and are concerned about the costs of rebranding, customers getting confused, and what effect it'll have on their overseas sales. It wouldn't be the first time Australia has changed the name of products. We've already agreed to not call champagne champagne, recognising Europe's protection of the term. For feta, <coughs> I mean feta or worse, the decision will be made soon. The protests in Hong Kong have now moved into the international airport. People there have been protesting against the government for months and overnight thousands camped out in some of the terminals. Officials had to cancel more than 150 flights, which meant a lot of travellers were stuck here with nowhere to go. I came to the airport and it was cancelled and I'm still waiting, like seven hours. Flights have started to take off again, but it's going to take a while for the massive backlog of tourists to be moved. If you're a BTS fan, well I'm sorry, this news may be tough on you. The super famous K-pop group is taking an extended break. There's no word yet on how long it'll last, but the band's management says they deserve a chance to enjoy the ordinary life of a person in their 20s. What keeps a rescued little penguin safe? Well, apparently a little jumper helps. Seriously. A Penguin Foundation is using hand-knitted jumpers to help some of the birds affected by oil spills. And as you can imagine, they also look super cute in them. These little penguins on Phillip Island are cute all on their own, but behind the scenes, a stylish new outfit is being prepared just for them. But these knits aren't a fashion statement. They're needed to protect penguins from potential oil spills. See, the oil sticks to a penguin's feathers, and if they try to clean it off themselves, they could accidentally swallow the oil, and that's not good. So these jumpers are designed to prevent that. There's no spill at the moment, but to prepare for the future, the Penguin Foundation's asking knitters everywhere to lend a hand and send in jumpers like this. They've done something similar before, back in 2014, but a lot of people didn't follow the pattern. They've been the wrong size, the wrong shape, um, they might have embellishments on them like buttons, and that's not safe for little penguins. But this time, they're hoping people will get the right idea to help protect these little birds. And finally, it's time for stories full of fancy fellas, fine furs and terrific tailoring. Let's get suited up. This is the 2019 Chaps Olympiad, where dapper participants don their Sunday best to partake in some tomfoolery. Like cucumber sandwich discus, umbrella jousting, picnic vaulting, and my personal favourite, tea pursuit. The final prize for the chappiest of eccentric chaps, a gold cravat. Here's an event with a little less style, but still tons of enthusiasm. Emergency services workers in California put on a suit of a very different kind and showed off their best prehistoric pace at this T-Rex race. Clearly a roaring success. And who says you need to be human to take pride in your appearance? This is basically a beauty contest for goats. These nannies and billies in the Ukraine were adorned with all sorts of glamorous things, all <clears throat> clearly by choice. The whole thing is about celebrating goats in the little town. Let us know, how do you feel about the BTS break? Comment below. And while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to see more videos just like this one. And hey, you can hit that bell button so you get notifications.